Have you ever wondered if someone close to you is living a double life? Consider the friendly neighbor or the dependable coworker who appears to have everything under control. But what if I told you that they are navigating the shadows of substance use behind closed doors? Today, we'll solve the mystery of how to spot a functioning drug user, addiction versus dependence. Join me on this journey as we reveal the subtle signs that may be hidden in plain sight. Welcome back to Wellness Lenses, where every conversation is a deep dive into mental wellness. If you're new here, a special warm welcome to you as well. We know you're going to like it here. If today's topic is something that appeals to you, please consider subscribing to our channel for more content on mental health and psychology. We're now also on Substack, so check the link in the description box below. Let's start by defining our terms. Addiction is a chronic relapsing disorder defined by compulsive drug seeking, continued use of drugs despite harmful consequences, and long-term changes in the brain. On the other hand, dependence is a physical condition in which the body has adapted to the presence of a drug, resulting in withdrawal symptoms if the drug is abruptly discontinued. The tricky part is that someone can be dependent on a substance without becoming addictive. Picture a hardworking professional who suffers from chronic back pain and relies on a prescription painkiller. They may be dependent on the medication, but their lives remain functional, and they do not exhibit the typical signs of addiction. To better understand the differences, let's take a look at the brain. Addiction frequently involves the hijacking of the brain's reward system, making the pursuit and consumption of the substance the primary goal. When a person consumes a substance, whether it's a drink, a pill, or something more illicit, the brain's reward circuit activates like a spectacular display of fireworks. This circuit is primarily controlled by neurotransmitters like dopamine, also known as the feel-good chemical. As substances flood the brain with dopamine, they produce an artificial sense of pleasure, tricking the reward system into associating the substance with a higher level of well-being. Over time, this can cause a rewiring of neural pathways, making the pursuit and consumption of the substance a compelling and, in some cases, all-consuming endeavor. But what about functioning drug users? These individuals frequently go about their daily lives, fulfilling work and family obligations, while using substances. You might be wondering how they do it. Let's take a look at the fascinating world of specific brain adaptations seen in functioning drug users. Research including a notable study by Goldstein and Volkow, Neuropsychopharmacology, has revealed that these individuals' brains may undergo unique changes that allow them to maintain a semblance of normalcy despite continued substance use. The development of increased cognitive control mechanisms is one intriguing adaptation. It's as if the brain, realizing the dangers of addiction, mobilizes resources to keep a delicate balance. This increased control enables functioning users to go about their daily lives, fulfilling responsibilities and obligations while concealing the ongoing struggle within. Furthermore, the prefrontal cortex, which is responsible for decision-making and impulse control, appears to play an important role. Functioning drug users may have an extraordinary ability to override impulsive behaviors, which contributes to their ability to keep their substance use private. This aspect of their brain function serves as a covert ally, allowing them to walk the fine line between dependence and a potentially harmful path. While these adaptations may provide a temporary reprieve, it is critical to recognize that continued substance use can challenge these cognitive safeguards. Over time, the delicate balance may falter, propelling individuals down a more dangerous path where the illusion of control crumbles. Now, let's look at some red flags that can help you tell the difference between a functioning user and someone on the verge of addiction. Increased tolerance is a significant indicator. If someone consistently requires higher doses of a substance to achieve the same results, it may be a warning sign that their relationship with the substance is changing. Withdrawal symptoms are another important indicator to look for. When the substance is not used, functioning users may feel physical and psychological discomfort, which can cause irritability, anxiety, and even flu-like symptoms. While these symptoms are typically less severe in functioning users than in those suffering from addiction, they still serve as a silent cry for help. 
Also telling are changes in behavior. Functioning users may become more secretive, guarding their habits and rituals with greater vigilance. Mood swings and a noticeable neglect of personal hygiene or appearance may indicate an underlying struggle that is not immediately apparent. But perhaps the most subtle red flag is the pattern of use itself. Functioning users may meticulously plan their substance use to avoid disrupting their daily responsibilities. If you see someone consistently prioritizing substance use over personal or professional obligations, it could be a sign that they are balancing appearances with the growing demands of addiction. As we navigate the terrain of these red flags, remember that everyone's experience is unique and context is important. A single red flag does not necessarily indicate a problem, but a combination of these signs may be cause for concern. By becoming more aware of these subtle signals, we gain the ability to provide support and intervention as needed. If you suspect someone is struggling, approaching the situation with empathy is essential. Share your concerns without passing judgment and encourage them to seek professional help. Remember that addiction is a medical condition and early intervention can have a significant impact. To summarize, identifying a functioning drug user is a difficult task that requires a keen eye and a compassionate heart. It is critical to recognize the signs, approach the situation with empathy, and encourage seeking professional help when necessary. And now I invite you to leave your thoughts or stories in the comment section below. Have you ever come across a functioning drug user? And how did you handle the situation? Your experiences may be useful to others facing similar challenges. Thank you for participating in today's discussion. If you found valuable information in this video, please give it a like, share it with your loved ones, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you've made it this far, a special thank you to you. In case you missed it, we're now on Substack. You can get free summaries of each video if you subscribe. And if you want full details of each video's topic with references and helpful resources, we offer a paid subscription for a small fee. Just click the link below. See you in the next video.